Hi, it's Grant from Cape Snake Conservation. The snake that we have today is a Cape Cobra and it is often misidentified for the mole snake because of its color and because of its general body characteristics. In this video, I'm going to show you three key points that will help you to identify Cape Cobra. If you've ever felt that you are confused and you want to be able to tell the difference between a Cape Cobra and a mole snake, well then keep watching this video because by the end of it, you should have no problem identifying one if you come across it in, in the wild. Okay, welcome back. So I've just taken this Cape Cobra out, which we caught in workout last night, and I put it in a tube. Now, the tube is one of the safest ways to handle a venomous snake like this. Firstly, it's obviously safer because your hand is nowhere near the, the dangerous end. And also, it puts a lot less stress on the snake. The snakes are very sensitive around their heads, so gripping it behind their head is a very aggressive move. Do this without a tube and without experience. Grabbing a snake behind the head is one of the easiest ways to get yourself bitten. So this is the Cape Cobra, and there's a couple of things to look at with this snake. The first and most obvious thing to look for with a Cape Cobra is its behavior. I'm sure all of you know, at least most of you know, and if you don't after this video you will, that Cobras are notorious for spreading a hood. They flatten their neck and they stand up in defensive posture and spread a hood. Now, obviously this snake is not going to do that now because it's in a tube, but I'm going to show you a clip just now of, of the snake hooding just so you can see that that is what Cape Cobras do. Now they don't always do that. A cobra will generally only stand up and spread a hood when it's in defensive posture, meaning that it feels that there's no escape, there's nowhere for it to flee, and it's now going to stand and defend itself. Cape cobras don't hunt their food from a standing position. That's not an aggressive pose as such, it's more of a defensive pose. If the snake is given half the chance, it'll move off. When it is moving off like that though, it can look dangerously similar to a mole snake. The colors vary incredibly. The Cape Cobra can go from black to almost an olive to a dull to, to even a bright yellow color. The mole snake, except for the yellow, can look very, very similar. Now, a key difference between the Cape Cobra and a snake like a Runkos, for example, that also spreads a hood, is that the Cobra has smooth scales. Runkos and puff adders and worm slung have, have keeled scales, which means it basically means a scale with a ridge on it. It has a rough feel and it doesn't have the shiny appearance. If you see a snake like this and it's shiny, then it's either a Cape Cobra or a mole snake. So the third thing to look for, and this is really the distinction between a mole snake and a cobra, if the cobra is not spreading a hood. The difference with a cobra's head is that it has these large swollen cheeks. Now, if you think about what the cobra's strength is, and that is obviously its potent venom, you can only imagine what those large cheeks are. That, those cheeks are where the venom glands are sitting. So, if you do get a chance to have a look between the mole snake's head and the cobra's head, or you see a snake and you get a good look at the head or a good photograph, Look for those big enlarged kind of cheek areas where the venom glands would sit and you can immediately tell then that it's not something harmless like a mole snake. So really there's, there's three key things if you want to identify the Cape Cobra. The first and most obvious way to identify Cape Cobra is by its hood. It stands in defense and spreads its neck. The second feature that you should look out for that will distinguish it from a puff adder or a worm slung or a wrinkles for that matter, are the smooth scales. They will look shiny, so if you see a snake flashing past and it's got shiny scales, you know it's likely a Cape Cobra or a mole snake. The third thing that you can look out for, if you get a good enough look or a good picture, are the glands around the head. With this gland you'll notice it's slightly stockier head, the mole snake's more pointy for when it burrows, but those are the three main things to look out for with this snake.